Come along with me as I test ride the Zero Motorcycle, one of the newest offerings in electric vehicles. Zero has a unique marketing strategy. Instead of dealers, they have independent sales reps. Zero reps purchase their own bikes and set out to create their own market. That's how I found Mike on the internet using the site's locator. He contacted me right away and we set up a meet for demo ride. Mike covers the Chicago metro region and pedals his Zero all over the place. He traveled about 10 miles to meet me at a local restaurant, and when I arrived, he was pulling out the 10-foot extension cord connecting the, the bike to the outlet in front of the building. With lithium batteries, it's no problem just topping them off. The range on this machine is about 60 miles, and the battery was filled in a time it took a, to eat a little breakfast. The 2009 model has a no-styling Q required round headlight, and to keep the battery strain to a minimum, a low-voltage LED bulb is just enough output for a street-legal running light. Also inside the headlight shell is a standard H4 for when the sun sets. According to the website, the Zero S is equipped with a brushed permanent magnet electric motor, which develops 31 horsepower and 62.5 foot-pounds torque at zero RPMs. My test ride took me through some suburban traffic, exactly what the Zero was made for. I felt right at home, keeping pace and changing lanes without any stress. The lack of engine noise did not seem to make me any less noticed by those in their cars all around me. The fact that the bike was electric was mostly unnoticed. Powered by a lithium ion array battery, good for 4 kilowatts, this combines to power the bike to 60 miles per hour for a range of about 60 miles. Attractive and sporty, the Zero is a perfect match for city life. So Mike gives me the once over on the features and function. Turn the key and the bike boots up, he says. The dash comes to life with all the information one needs for this ride. Missing, of course, is the clutch lever, but other than that, all the other controls are where they are supposed to be. Brights, horn, turn signals are all ready when reached for. I see the red light. Okay. Okay. Booting up, booting up. Do anything. That's About half the part numbers on the Zero are purpose designed specifically for the bike. From the brake pads on up, all parts are available from the manufacturer. The wheel is one of those specifically designed parts. The lightweight construction includes custom hubs, spokes, and rotors. To maximize the overall wheel strength, the hub is configured to use straight pull spokes. The resulting wheel is lighter, stronger, and more responsive. The suspension on the Zero DS was developed by Zero to take advantage of the motorcycle's lightweight design. Its inverted front fork is among the lightest in the industry and can be externally adjusted to dial in compression and rebound dampening. A rigid double diamond rear swing arm keeps the wheel planted using a custom rear shock, which also has a fully adjustable spring load and easily tuned dampening. Beyond charging, the maintenance list is short, normal chain lubrication and adjustment. Replace the typical wearable parts as needed, brake pads, and the tires, which are all standard sized. The Zero Power Pack contains no toxic metals such as cobalt, nickel, lead, or mercury, and are completely recyclable. Because the Zero has passed U.S. safety standards and received the EPA Certificate of Conformity, buyers at a Zero S are eligible for a 10% federal tax credit. Just got back from a quick test ride, and I gotta say, I'm just smiling. This is a, this was incredible fun. The Zero motorcycle. 
zero maintenance other than plugging it in and greasing the chain a little bit. Um, as far as I can see, though, what are other other wearable parts? Would be just the brake pads, right? Tires, brake pads, pads, and chain. Tire, brake pads, and chain. Okay. Uh, and I could see it as a great commuter. I uh, smooth is the one thing that can describe it. The zero is proof that fun is not governed by engine size, evidenced by the smile I was wearing all morning long. This stylish machine gets up to speed quickly and provides a confident ride. I felt in control the whole time. In the gravel lot that I made a few turnarounds in, while doing a few grades in the parking lot, or when making a right turn on red into the flow of traffic, the Zero held its own. My thanks go out to Mike, the Zero expert, for allowing us a chance to enjoy a taste of the future. If you're thinking of going green and cutting back on your oil addiction, the Zero is certainly worth looking into.